If you haven't caught up with Steven Universe, don't watch this video. Unless you don't give a shit about spoilers, then be my guest. Watch as much as you want. First of all, I'm going to say there's some really good filler going on. And when I say filler, I mean like a plot development. That means nothing going on with Homeworld or other new gems or anything supernatural like that. Simple episodes, lots of character development, lack of plot development, simple. And it's really good. It's made the show more realistic. The people in Beach City, they're, they're reacting more to all the things that recently happened with Aquamarine and Topaz and all that jazz going on. I feel like it's realistic because Think about it. If you live in, in a small town and you have all this weird shit going on, why would you not freak out? Or why would you not question the mayor and everyone around you and just everything, you know what I mean? And yeah, they've reacted a little bit in the past, like in other seasons, but I feel like recently with season 5, it really goes deeper, especially with the episode Dewey Wins, when the town's really riled up, like, yo, how do you explain all this crap? And it, it really makes you think, you know, like, what the hell would happen if all this really happened in our own world? And I like that a lot. You also have a lot of good character development, um, especially with like Sadie Killer, for example. That was kind of a funny play on words with the Working Dead. I kind of thought of the Walking Dead. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. They did that shit on purpose. They, they did that to us. I know they did. Um, that might be relatable for a lot of older audiences who maybe study a lot or work a lot or both or just people being busy in general. That was really funny, but kind of dark and true when you think about it. Um, the other thing, like I said, it's hard to figure out what's filler and what's not. Some episodes in, in the list obviously are not filler, especially those homeworld ones. I love how Lars has become so strong and so brave, love it so much. Those episodes, not really filler, but for the ones that are, they were still really good, which was the opposite of season one, where you had childish filler that people really cringed upon, at least older viewers cringed upon it, and most people who go back and watch it, they skip those foolery episodes and they only watch the story ones. The other thing is the butterfly effect, which is everywhere right now, in multiple shows. For Steve Universe, I'm pretty sure it started with season four, especially with episode 11, with Steven's dream, when he was crying in his sleeve and had those weird dreams about Pink Diamond and kind of like memories from his mom. You might argue, oh, it started later with Aquamarine and Topaz. Yeah, I guess you, you could, or you can argue that it started even sooner in the show. But basically you have one big event that cascades into other, into other episodes and other seasons, and it has this huge like effect for, for just ages. And Steve Universe is pulling it off very well, at least in my opinion. Other shows are doing it too, like Adventure Time. The show's been completely different since the Islands miniseries. And you have live action shows, like The Walking Dead with Negan. The show's been completely different since he came in the mix. Or Brooklyn Nine-Nine, how that show completely changed when certain characters went undercover. You know, stuff like that. So I think multiple shows are doing this and SU, they do pretty good. Um, I have to say with Pink Diamond, I love how they showed her for a couple seconds. Nice and simple and sweet. I was afraid it would be some obvious big flashback episode with Rose Chords. I'm like, I don't want that. I know some people would, but that's just too obvious to me. And I'm glad that they did something different. Like, hey, here's a simple episode where they get lost on the jungle moon, trying to survive. It's Stevani the whole time. First episode without Steven on his own appearing. And it was cool, like a fusion between Connie's memories, Steven's memories, and even Rose's memories, all in a dream. I mean, that's just fucking weird. Think about it. Imagine if you had multiple memories. Oh my god, like Attack on Titan. Oh, it's connected. Okay, they're not connected, just a coincidence. But imagine having all these different memories of multiple people all in your head at the same time and watching it all play out. That's some, psycho that's some psychological stuff going on. I'm like, that's crazy. I loved it a lot, and we only got a couple seconds, but hey, it's enough for some good fan art on Pinterest. That's all I really need. That's it. That's all I need to be happy, really. But hey, maybe we'll see her again in the future, and maybe Yellow and Blue Diamond too. Hopefully Lapis comes back, because god damn, that's really heartbreaking. Anyways, that is all, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.